Addis Ababa Light Rail Amharic, as a light rail transportation system in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. It is the first light rail and rapid transit in eastern and sub-Saharan Africa, a 17-kilometre line running from the city centre to industrial areas in the south of the city opened on 20 September 2015, inaugurated by Prime Minister Haile Mariam Dessalane. Service began on 9 November 2015 for the second line west -east. The total length of both lines is 31.6 kilometers, 19.6 miles, with 39 stations. Trains are expected to be able to reach maximum speeds of 70 kilometers per hour, 43 miles per hour. The railway was contracted by the China Railway Group Limited. The Ethiopian Railways Corporation began construction of the double-track electrified light rail transit project in December 2011 after securing funds from the Export-Import Bank of China. Trial operations were begun on 1 February 2015, with several months of testing following that. It is operated by the Shenzhen Metro Group. Topic. Overview Of the two line rail lines, the east-west line extends 17.4 km 10.8 miles, stretching from Ayat village to Torhailik, and passing through Megananya, Mescal Square, Legahar and Mexico Square. The north-south line, which is 16.9 kilometers (10.5 miles) in length, passes through Manelik 2 Square, Mercado, Ladeta, Legahar, Mescal Square, Gotera, and Kaliti. However, two lines have a common track of about 2.7 kilometers. The common track is the elevated section which runs east to west across the southern edge of the CBD from Mescal Square to Mexico Square, and onwards to Ladeta. Trains on the north-south line are blue and white, whilst on the east-west line they are green and white. The fares cost 2 to 6 Ethiopian burr. Tickets are bought at orange-colored kiosks next to each station. The final cost to build the railway was US$475 million, with construction taking three years. The Addis Ababa light rail was originally to have a total of 41 stations on its two lines, and each train was planned have a capacity to carry 286 passengers. This will enable the light rail transit to provide a transportation service to 15,000 passengers per hour per direction PPHPD, and 60,000 in all four directions. The railway lines have their own dedicated power grid. According to CREC, the system carried on average 113,500 daily passengers in January 2016, with 153,000 passengers as highest passenger load during a single day. Service frequency was 10 minutes during peak hours on both lines and 20 minutes during off peak hours. On average there were 94 train rotations on the blue line 3177.2 vehicle kilometer and 93 rotations on the green line 3236.4 vehicle kilometer Topic Future expansion There are future plans for extensions in all four directions. According to Getachu Bitru, CEO of Ethiopian Railways Corporation, the Ethiopian government indicated that any new line built should be completely grade separated. Apart from extending the existing lines, two new lines are under consideration by the Ethiopian government. 
The first one will start at St. George's Cathedral, pass along Mexico Square to the African Union headquarters and will terminate at Labu, connecting to the new national rail network. The second line will start at Meganania Roundabout and passes via Bol Airport, Wello Sefer area, Saris Market area and Jamo area and terminates at Labu. Topic. Rolling stock Addis Ababa Light Rail operates currently a fleet of 41 three-section 70% low-floor trams manufactured by CNR Chongchun. Topic. Lines Topic. Common section Open 20 September 2015. The 2.7 km common section from St. Ledetta west to Mescal Square east, with five stops. Topic. Blue Line Open the 20th of September 2015. The 16.9 kilometers blue line from Manelik Square north to Kaliti south. Topic: Green line. Open the 9th of November 2015. The 17.4 km Green Line runs east from Ayat east to Tor Hylik west, with 22 stops. Topic. See also List of tram and light rail transit systems Template, Suburban Railways in Africa